because I'm doing a haul video and this is a beauty haul video and I feel like I haven't done one of these for a long time which is why I'm like extremely excited to do this. I just think it's really fun like seeing what beauty products people get and what new makeup products are out there so if you have a beauty haul or any type of haul you can leave that below. So this haul does mainly consist of beauty. It's not 100% beauty stuff um, but most of it is. I just recently made a purchase on Sephora.com and I also just recently went to New York so I have a few things that I got there at Victoria's Secret and then also one random thing I picked up at the airport and I just had to include it in this haul video. And before I get into this haul I just want to start off with saying that if you do not like hauls and if you're going to leave a mean comment or something like that please just don't watch this video. Um, hauls are something that I honestly wouldn't do if they weren't requested so much. I always get requested from my viewers like to do a new haul video if I ever mention that I'm going to the mall or going shopping everybody's like do a haul do a haul but I just really wanted to do this haul because I thought it would be fun but I'm not trying to brag or anything like that like seriously I would never do that so um, I just wanted to let you guys know that at the beginning all right so here is my Sephora box there it is and basically I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I got so Let's go ahead and get into it. So if you've ever ordered on the Sephora website, you probably know that you get to pick out three free samples with your order. So the samples that I got, the first one is Womanity Perfume. I didn't pick this one out. I actually picked the Justin Bieber Perfume sample, but they gave me this one instead. So maybe Bieber sold out or something. I don't know. But um, I don't know if I'm going to try that because I just don't know. But they gave me that one. And then they also gave me the DKNY Golden Delicious Perfume Sample. I actually love this one. I used to be a really big fan of the Green Apple, but I kind of got tired of that one, and I really like this one a lot more, so I think I'm going to get the full size. And then I just got a little mask treatment, like a skincare sample. And I also got this little item for free also because I had a promo code. I actually got the um, Sephora app on my iPhone, and if you have the Sephora app, they give you a free phone case. And I've been to like so many different Sephora stores, like in LA, in my hometown, and in New York, to get this phone case, and they've always been sold out but they actually had it online so I got it for my iPhone and it matches my shirt I just noticed that but yeah I just got like a little free iPhone case and I was really excited about that all right so now on to the actual product so the first thing that I picked up is a NARS nail polish now I've been wanting to try NARS polishes for so long but they're like 16 or 18 dollars I think super 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 expensive and I never wanted to spend that much but this one was actually on sale for eight dollars they had two different ones this one is in the shade bad influence and they also have like this really pretty lilac one that was also $8 but it's sold out so I just got this one and it's basically just this really like deep brown kind of mud color but like a pretty mud and I just thought this would be so so gorgeous for fall. The next thing I got is the Lash Dash. This is like the newest one. I am like a huge sucker for the Sephora Lash Dashes because you get tons of different mascaras for a really great price. This is a value of $133 and look how much I got it for you guys. $45. That's a really great deal and I'm really into trying different mascaras so basically you pull this off and the packaging is like amazing and then you just open these up and it has all of these different mascaras. It has Urban Decay Mascara, Too Faced Lashgasm, very interesting name anyways, um, the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, Flawless Definition by Bare Minerals, Hourglass Mascara, this Josie Moran one. I actually have this one and I love it. Uh, Tarte Mascara, and this one, I don't know who this one is from. It's like a Fairy Drops mascara. And then it also comes with two full-size mascaras, the Sephora Lash Booster and a Stila Forever Your Curl mascara. And then it comes with a little sample of the Clinique Take the Day Off little makeup remover. So I'm really excited to try all these mascaras. If you guys would like to see a review or something on this, let me know. I'll probably be like mentioning this in tons of different like favorites videos. And I think it'll be really cool to share with you guys like my current favorite out of the Lash Stash. Okay, and then this mascara I actually got the full size of because I just recently went to a photo shoot in New York City. If you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, then you already know that. Um, but yeah, they use this on me. It's the Lancome Doll Lash Mascara, and I fell in love with this mascara. Like, literally, it makes it look like you're wearing, like, false lashes. It makes you look like you have doll lashes. So this is the packaging. It's really cute. And then the wand... Looks like that. And the brush is really cool. It's kind of like a cone-shaped one. Okay, and the next thing I got is a skincare set by Kors. I was originally just going to get the yogurt moisturizer because I thought it sounded really cool because it has like real yogurt in it and it's just like really natural. But then I saw that it came in a set with four different items and I thought that would be even better to try. So basically it comes with this yogurt moisturizer and this is what it looks like. It's just a really thick, creamy moisturizer. 
and it smells really, really good. And then it also comes with the yogurt mask and then a white tea facial cleanser. Looks like that. And then also a eye cream. So I actually bought this because I have extremely sensitive skin and I have to be really careful with products that have like fragrances in them and lots of chemicals and stuff like that because my skin breaks out so easily. So I thought that this would be good to try because it's like paraben free, it's very natural and it has lots of good ingredients. So I'm going to try this out and if I like it then you guys may be seeing like an updated skincare routine or something. And the next thing I got are some Tarte Lip Surgeons Natural Lip Stains, another set. I've been getting so many sets from Sephora but I really like it because you get like a ton of different products in one little box for an amazing deal. Like originally if I were to buy all of these sets Separately, it would cost $120 and I only paid $29 which is amazing. So this is what it looks like. It comes with the shades Glitzy, Perky, Flashy, Swank, and Dazzled. And the one I'm actually wearing on my lips right now is Swank and it looks like this. It's kind of like a red fuchsia color and I'm really scared of wearing pure red lipstick so when I saw this I was like this is my perfect match. It's like kind of a sheer red. So this is what it looks like. They're just like really big jumbo pencils. They're really, really smooth and they kind of like plump your lips a little bit. They're super moisturizing. I definitely recommend checking this set out because it is amazing. So that's that set. Now the last thing that I got at Sephora is something that I was actually really surprised at myself that I got this because you guys know I'm obsessed with the CoverGirl Nature Luxe Foundation. I've been using it for like seven or eight months now nonstop. And I decided to try a new foundation. So I decided to try the Fresh Umbrian Clay Fresh Face Foundation. So this is what it looks like. First off, the packaging is so, so, so pretty. This is what the packaging of the actual product looks like. So I'm actually wearing this foundation today, and I have to say I'm really, really loving it. But overall, so far, this foundation is so light. It feels like you're not even wearing foundation, and it literally covers up so so much and I don't feel like this is clogging my pores or anything like that which is really important to me because I'm only 15 so I don't really like foundations that are really heavy or anything like that I really just want something that is going to kind of just enhance my natural skin tone and stuff so I'm liking this so far but I don't know if it beats nature looks yet but we'll see all right so that is everything from Sephora now I have two things from Victoria's Secret that I thought were really really fun and I wanted to show them to you guys so let me just like spin over here and get them. All right, so while I was in New York, I picked up a sweatsuit from Victoria's Secret. And this is like a limited edition one. You can only get it in New York City. And I normally never get Victoria's Secret sweatsuits. I really love them. Like I have one that I've had for like years, but I can never get myself to buy new ones because I feel like they're just so expensive. But I decided to splurge on this one. So basically it is just a black hoodie and then you turn it around and it is just like amazing sequins. It says pink and then NYC and a hot pink sequined heart. And then I also got the matching bottoms. I haven't worn these yet. As you can tell, they still have the tags. Um, I just haven't worn them yet. I don't know why. So it's just like these black cuffed sweatpants. They cuff at the bottom and they have like a little bit of elastic. And then on the side it says love NYC. And then on the back in sequins as well it says pink. Just like bam in your face, I know. So yeah, I love this sweatsuit and I like to dress up, but I also like to just walk around town in like really comfy clothes like sweatshirts and sweatpants and jeans and t-shirts. So this is definitely something that I've been wearing a lot. I mean, obviously not the pants yet, but I'm really excited to wear these a lot for fall and winter. So I got that at Victoria's Secret. Okay, and the last thing that I got in New York City is probably... By far, my favorite thing I got in New York City, and I just want to show it to you guys. So I was in the airport, and me and my sister were, like, browsing through all the things in the airport. There's, like, so many different little shops and stuff, and I came across this thing. It's an ugly doll. I was like, oh, my goodness. I need him. So, um, yeah, he's just, like, a hot pink. Actually, it's not a he. It's a she. But, yeah, they're supposed to just be, like, ugly dolls. I don't know. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's, like, so ugly that it's cute. So I just wanted to share my little ugly doll with you guys. I don't have a name yet. Even though it's, like, name when you get it is Hey Bye Bye, I want to make up my own name. So leave name requests below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And also, this is kind of a random question, but... I I really want to know what you guys are being for Halloween since it's getting like super close now. So leave a comment below and let me know what you decided to be for Halloween or maybe you're not dressing up. I don't know. Or maybe you even haven't decided yet. I haven't even decided what I want to be for Halloween yet. I'm like really confused. I'm probably going to be one of my tutorials but I don't know like which tutorial I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. No, that's too high. High. You get it? Like, it's too high and like high. 
Never mind. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, you just reminded me right now. Oh dang, I forgot.